Hey, what's up? This is Odulena from Odulena Digital and today we're going to talk about responsive display ads from Google. Welcome to my channel. Be sure to subscribe. My name is Odulena and every Sunday I post a new video on topics like online marketing, pay-per-click advertising, also I share some of my favorite books, reviewing material like courses that I'm doing. Uh, so it will be a lot of interesting information hopefully. If you find this cool, please subscribe. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers right now and so far I've been getting a lot of response from people. Thank you so much for the support so far. Let's make this channel bigger, better and stronger. So today I'm gonna talk about responsive display ads. Just a small disclaimer, I work for Google, so I'm a Google Ads specialist. However, everything that I'm sharing here is officially my own personal advice and my own personal view on Google products. I'm no, no way official speaker of Google in this video channel. This is something I'm doing besides my job. So today I'm gonna talk about responsive display ads uh, which is a format of Google advertising, particularly for display. Watch this video to the end when I'm going to share a practical walkthrough Google Ads interface and show you how to create your responsive display ad. So uh, for those of you who are vaguely familiar with Google Ads, uh, there is two things that you can do in Google Ads. You can advertise on the search results. So uh, whenever someone types in, you ad appears on top of the search results or you can advertise on the display network. So the display network is basically a network of almost 3 million websites, uh, including blogs, blogs, uh, including big newspapers and publishers like the Forbes, the Guardian, the Times. Uh, they all basically are sustaining to big extent their uh, platforms because they advertise on them and some of the ads that they show are coming through this display network uh, of Google. Also the display network includes websites like Gmail and YouTube and a lot of mobile applications. So until now if you were an advertiser and you wanted to show your ads, your let's say display ads, some kind of image banners, uh, you wanted to show these on all these 3 million websites, you have to create minimum three or more campaigns in order to run your ads because for the websites you have to create static images, so image ad with text with a call to action button which would appear and you have to shape them in all the different sizes that are available on the internet, so rectangular, square, vertical, horizontal, and you have to run them in a separate campaign. If you wanted to advertise on Gmail, you have to create a Gmail campaign with a specific Gmail type of banner, which again has its own uh, requirements. And if you wanted to advertise on YouTube, it was mainly video advertising. But now, since recently, you can see more and more static images on YouTube, uh, which are basically display advertisements. So with responsive display ads, which I'm going to talk about today, you would be able to do all these and much more formats with one single ad or precisely with just providing a bunch of assets and allowing Google to mix and match them together into powerful combinations which are tested, improved for performance, so Google is testing all the combinations and uh, fitting them in all the available placements across the Google Display Network. How does Google do that? Machine learning, of course. With the power of machine learning technology, Google is basically testing multiple, multiple combinations of assets that you provide. So text, images, uh, and logos, and they are actually creating a different ad, uh, which is based on performance, based on your bid, based on your audience, and based on what's available right now and who else is competing for the same audience. What does that mean? So for example, if there is a placement with a very specific ad format, uh, Google can kind of reshape what assets you have provided into this format and fill the, the gap, the little placement that's available. 
What does that mean? That means, first of all, you appear more often because if you only had your own creative, say you would be a little bit limited. You cannot create a banners in the sizes of every single opening that's available on the internet because there are so many different ones. And also what it does is actually uh, getting you to properties that probably you wouldn't have been eligible to appear just because your creative wasn't according to these standards. So this means more opportunities for you to show up, more websites to show up, and hopefully a lower cost per click uh, and cost per thousand impressions CPM because your ad has less competitions. Otherwise, if you're only using the standard formats, you're likely to just compete with all the big guys for the big standard slots. Whereas with this responsive display ads, you can fit your ad across multiple other placements that are, let's say, less desired ones. Still, they could be equally performing. And since responsive display ads are actually optimizing for performance, uh, and for conversions, you can combine them with smart bidding and your campaigns will basically try to get you as many conversions as possible. If you want to know more about smart bidding, you can watch my video. We want to create a new campaign. We click here. You can choose any one, let's say leads. Do you want to generate more leads? Then you choose the option for display. And we'll just, for this case, we'll build a standard display campaign. Here you can just add your website so i'll do is add my website sonolena.com and just continue so now we have all kind of different settings on who we want to target uh, in, in, in which location what languages how we want to bid we, whether we want to optimize for conversions for clicks you can enter daily budget additional settings so we can choose what kind of audience we want to target. So for example, I'll just click luxury shoppers just to have one audience, but there's multiple audiences that you can use. You can check my video on audiences for more information. Then uh, we go to the ad creation. So let's say we start with responsive display ads. So here we have, I've started working on one responsive display ad, which is in progress. And here I can start working on it. So for example, here on the side, I see all the different uh, kind of a scorecard on how my ad is doing and whether what else I can do to make it better. So here I can choose images. So one cool thing is that, for example, because I entered already my website, uh, Google has scanned it and has already extracted some images like my logo, for example. So I can easily say that I will just use this as my rectangular logo. And then what I can do is either I can upload images or what I can do is actually check some stock images. Marketing service and Google will come up with a list of stock images which I could use uh, from Shuttle Rock for my, for my campaign. So for example, I like this one, um, so I can use it as an image. So here you can quickly adjust it, whether you want to use it as a rectangular or square, where you want to focus it on which um, part of the image. So let's say I'll just choose it this way, click Save. And here you can see that I already have kind of half of my image target completed. However, uh, they were recommending me to add one more logo, so like a smaller logo and a few more images. And here, as you can see, I have already some previews of how the ad would look like. Here I can write my headlines. So for example, I can say marketing service in London okay and then I can add another one and another one and this is how it is going to appear so immediately the player is showing me how this image is going to appear then I can add a long headline so this will be kind of one of the uh, one of the the one that will appear on its own so this can be a little bit longer in a longer message like uh, marketing services in London uh, offering PPC, uh, social media marketing and analytics. 
Uh, here I can more, add more descriptions, so I can add up to five descriptions. And here I add my uh, business name, so I can say Odolana Digital. And you can see that this will immediately show as a business name in the actual uh, ad preview. What else is cool is that I have more options, so I can select the call to action text, so I can choose an automated one, or I can select something like sign up or visit, get a quote, subscribe, and I can choose from multiple languages, which is really awesome. What else is cool is I can customize the colors. So for example, if I think that um, my, let's say my business has a specific color scheme, I can just use the X uh, code, the hex code, and it will be added to the button style. So for example, this button and this text will be covered in the color of my scheme. So here I have a bunch of previews. I can check how my ad looks like on the key ad formats on mobile and desktop. So here how the ad is going to look like as an image ad. Here I can show it as a text ad. So you see you can just uh, pick up one headline, business name and a description plus the call to action and only appears text and something called native ads. So these are ads that look like the content of the website. So this is, for example, like a blog or a newspaper publication. You can see this type of ads at the bottom, uh, which kind of look like the content of the page. So I can pause the uh, preview here so I can screenshot it, maybe send it to someone. Or what I can do is I can check how it's going to look on display uh, on, a, on a desktop. So here are the key formats on desktop, so rectangular. Um, horizontal and ver uh, vertical. You can have also a square. Uh, you can see it as a text ad. So it kind of gives me a good idea of the combinations. You can see long headline, description, how, how these can be combined together. Uh, also what I can check is how the ad is going to look on different uh, Google properties. So this is how it looks on Gmail when it's open. When it's closed it's going to be something like this. And this is how it's going to look on uh, YouTube. Uh, so on YouTube, you see the ad uh, just as you scroll through the screen on, uh, on a mobile device as a, as a banner, which you can click and then come to the website. And on a desktop, YouTube, you can see it also as a companion banner next to a YouTube video, or you can see it on the bottom of the actual video while it's playing. Uh, what's cool is also that you have the option now to add some videos. So if your business already has some videos, you can upload up to five of them and they can run as YouTube video ads as well, besides your display advertising. So with all these assets together, you actually don't need to upload any further ads on their own. Uh, if you want, you can combine the um, responsive display ads with other ads like standard image ads, uh, and they can run very well together. Or if you want, you can just have one responsive display ad with a lot of assets. So make sure that all this scorecard here is full and you have enough headlines, images, and descriptions. And then you can just let it run uh, with this one single uh, ad combining all the assets that you've provided. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel, like it, share it. If you find it valuable, recommend it to other people. And as I said, thank you so much. I'll be back with a new video next Sunday.